In this FarmCan review, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about FarmCan. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll also leave a discounted link down there so you can get your money's worth for FarmCan. FarmCan is an effective and stunning workplace to make farms with. As we can see here, this is the homepage. Straight off the bat, as you can see here, there are loads of types of templates to use. Up here, you've got loads of different sections from most popular to application farms to appointment farms, as you can see right here. If you were to go over here, there is also an industry section. It also shows templates on different types of farms you can create for industries or businesses that you would like to use. So as we scroll down here, there are a lot of different types on each section from types to industries. If you go over to the left, you've got your dashboard here, you've got your invitations, submissions and notifications. If we are to click on the dashboard, it should take you to your farms. Now, we don't have any farms at the moment, but this is where you would see all the farms you have created if you have created some in the past. Up here in the top right corner, you have your settings where you can change it from light mode or to dark mode in case you want those type of features. So to start off, we're just going to go to farm templates and we're just going to look through the templates and the type of presets that farm can does have if you are to hover over one of these templates you can either use this template or preview this template we're just going to preview one of them we're going to do this one right here you can see the template you can have your full name contact number email amount proof of donation this template is clearly for donation forms or charity forms as it should say here in the category section it also gives a brief description here in case you would want to know exactly what this template would be used for Again, up here, if you would like, you can actually set the light or dark tones of your template if that's some sort of feature you would like in your forms. Going back to the other types of templates, again, you can just go through any of these, preview them, use them. There's a lot to choose from here. We're going to go into the industries one and also see what type of farms they have here. Again, if you hover over it, let's preview this template. And here you go. It should have a preview of what this one can do. Again, this is a category for banking farms and banking. So this is obviously where you'd put in your information for payments. So let's go ahead and click use this template so we can go and see the actual display of this software. So landing on the software's edit page, you can see right here to the left, this is your toolbar. You can have a text input, a choice question, a drop down question, a signature, file upload, rating, description, section, and then just more types of features you can add to your forms. If you are to click on any of these sections here, you can also edit them. If you were to click on this right here, it would bring up this section to the right. Now this section is where you can edit everything on the form. You can edit the placeholder, the text, the format, the label, all types of features that are on this form. This can be done to every section again if we were to do it to the email section or the contact number or the credit card information and so on it's the same for every section as you move down the form now back to the home page we're going to go ahead and make our own template from scratch to really go through each feature that form can has if you were to click over here on the dashboard i should now have the credit card authorization form that i actually opened up just then and this is where you'd find all your other forms that you do open up and create over here if you click on the invitation section you can actually also invite people to fill out your form that you create over here in the submission section you will see any submissions or answers that people put on your forms and finally here in the notification section this is where you'd receive any notifications on farmcamp so let's go ahead and delete this one since we are not going to be using it you'd click on this icon right here move down and see trash there we go and we're going to go ahead and create our own farm from scratch let's click on create farm right there and there we go we're back on the same page as we were before however there is nothing here this time and this is where you'd create everything from scratch if you did not want to use a template so right up here as you can see there is the title this is where you click on it and over here form title is where you type the title of your form so we're just going to go ahead and create a random type of form here let's do social media form we're going to go ahead and quickly create a form to depict what type of social media is the best right here you can also edit the help text this is just a line of text underneath your form title if you'd want to do that what type of social media is the best there we go so once you've done your title and your line underneath it you can go over here and click any of these feature options to create questions or just text inputs for your form since this form is going to be mainly a question based form we're going to go ahead and add a choice question right here as you can see it brings up this this area once again over here where you can edit different features so let's go ahead and label this question which social media do you use the most 
that's the question we're going to be going with first as you can see under this area right here there are different check boxes to add which features you want to add to this question you can either make it a required question a read only question or you can actually hide it on your form you can check if there's going to be multiple choices or just one choice to the left of that if you click this button this adds your different choices which creates different text boxes right underneath it and you can add as many as you want if you do want to remove these though you can also trash them right here as you can see if you click this icon so we're just going to go ahead and create four choices once you've typed in each choice box right here i've done instagram facebook twitter and snapchat for the choice of social medias i will be using if you look right underneath it there is actually a preview right here of how it would look on your form which social media do you use the most instagram facebook twitter snapchat and then whoever is doing your form can click one of these and it will only be a one choice question since we did untick the multiple choices so let's go ahead over here and go back to the choice question we're going to go ahead and do a, like one or two more of these and then go through the other features that are on farm cam and there we go we've got three different choice questions here each one is a required question since we did click the required section and each one is only a one choice question since we unticked the multiple choices now since we're done with these questions if you do look to this bar up here you have loads of different features right here is the preview and design section if you do click on this it should open up a different tab and you should be able to preview your form like this so right here this is the form we have just quickly created a quick social media form with a few choice questions and you'd be able to send this out to anyone who you want to invite in the invitation section back on the home page so right here if we are to run through it what type of social media is the best which social media do you use the most personally i use instagram so i'd click that easiest to navigate let's just click instagram and then which one has the best features let's go with snapchat so then anyone who's answering your form would then submit and they'll be greeted with this page that their form has been submitted successfully back onto this page if we are moving down through the features that actually correlate with our form we should also maybe add a rating right here as you can see as i've clicked the rating it's actually put it in between some of the other questions which personally i do not want so you can easily just remove that by clicking it and dragging it all the way down to the bottom which is a pretty cool feature by clicking on this it opens up the rating editing section and again you just be able to tie whatever you want to rate and we'd be able to change it in this section down here so let's just go with instagram so let's just go with instagram and we also want to make sure it is again a required section because we want it to be answered so you'd click or unclick the required section right here you can change the shapes of your ratings usually it is a star but you can also go with a circle or a love heart or a face or just numbers in general over here you can allow half ratings so if you wanted to rate it half a star you could be able to do that right below that we've got the shape size we can either choose it from small to large or to medium and then right here you can change how many ratings you want as we've been changing all that you can see right here in the preview it's all been changing so since there's not much to do with that we can just go ahead and click that off and there we go we've got our rating section done so there you go i've quickly just went and done and each rating with the same settings that we did for instagram for facebook twitter and snapchat just so it correlates with the first questions we asked at the beginning let's just say for the sake of this review we also want a signature for whoever is rating or answering our form so right here you click the three dots right below all the other areas and then if you look through these you can actually see a signature section right below the text input let's go ahead and add that and there we go it gets added to our form section so again if you want to go and click on that and edit it we're going to just quickly run through each edit feature of the signature section so we want to keep the label as signature so people know what it actually is we're going to make it again required and right here you can change each sign method whether they want to draw it or type it or upload it we're just going to go with that we want them to draw it so we're going to untick these two you can change here how high you want the height whether it's 200 or 500 that just gives a wider box for someone to create their signature and there we go that is the way you can create a signature so most features on here are pretty simple pretty easy to run through you can honestly just go on here with no knowledge in mind click one of these and it's pretty simplistic once you have fully completed your form up here you can click publish this will then make Make it public to anyone who wants to complete your form or if you want anyone in particular to complete your form so we're just going to go ahead and click publish so i can quickly show 
what happens when you publish it. Right here, this section should open up where you would actually be given your own form code. This is what you'd use to send to anyone in particular, or you could actually click over here and embed your form into a website that you are making. So if we go ahead and quickly copy this link, I'm going to open it up in a new tab and show you guys the finished form. Here we go, this is our form we have created. So if we quickly run through it again, we'll go with Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Let's just click any random ones just to run through it. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Right here, we'd wanna put our signature. Let's just doodle a signature and submit it. And there you go. The same final section has been shown to whoever is submitting your form. All the way back at the home page, as you can see, now that we have submitted the form, you can see down in the notification section, we have one notification. If you are to click on the notification section, you can see that your form does have a submission, which is the exact one that we just submitted. And over here, you can open the submission, see what time and what day the form was submitted. And there you go, that is all you need to know about FormCan to begin with. Personally, I actually really like this software and I would absolutely use it myself. It's easy to navigate, easy to learn straight off the bat. There's so many cool different features, whether you're trying to run a business or just create a normal form. Would I personally recommend someone FormCan? Yes, I would, absolutely. It is the easiest way to create forms for any form of business. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.